Some people may see it and be like, girl, why are you telling us this? Like, why are you putting this on the internet? Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you come in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this. Let me just go ahead and say now, I did not notice this big ass booger in my nose, <laughs> but I know what I'm about to say is going to help somebody. So I'm not deleting this footage. Just mind my words, not my face right now. It was a struggle this day. <sighs> well, friends, it's one of those mornings. One thing I'm learning about this um, postpartum journey is that it's not linear, but it's like you can be on your way to completely better days one day. And then you just have a day where everything goes to shit. This is that morning for me. I'm on my way to my postpartum checkup. And it's, by the way, it's like the kids just know when you need a little bit of extra. Like, look how he's holding on to me. <laughs> or maybe he just really wants the milk. I don't know. Either way, it's comforting. The lack of sleep is getting to me because it's not like I nap during the day. I still have to get up and function and do and be in all the things. The housework is starting to pile up. We, I was doing good, but it's it's <laughs> it's hectic right now. Me not working and birthdays coming up and obligations coming up and not being able to just move freely financially how I want to is piling up. All the things that come with fourth trimester, unless you have a really good maternity leave package, but that doesn't come when you work for yourself. So here we are. And granted, we do well enough to be able to do extra things, but when you have kids growing out of clothes and things that you would like for yourself as you transition and the outside world continuing to move and obligations, like I said, constantly coming up, it just becomes a lot when you're not in a position where things are flowing how they once were when, when I was behind the chair. But at the same time, to that same token, I could go back behind the chair tomorrow. But I don't want to. The camera's about to die, but I just wanted to come and share that with y'all. I'm going to go to this appointment, and I'll check in on my phone when I get out, and we'll just go from there. Trenches season. <sighs> Mood. No remedy for a shitty morning like Starbies. Category number two, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I'm so close to the camera, but it's on my dash perfectly and I'm not moving it. I charged the camera and I just wanted to talk to y'all while I refill my water and get to where I'm going. I know I keep saying this, but I have to keep reminding myself as I'm reminding y'all. Hold on. I was rushing this morning, so I wasn't able to fill up my Stanley. So I'm trying to get right now so I can stay hydrated because I'm trying to be a better woman, especially in the area of hydration. I got my lemon. If your water don't have lemon in it, you wasting time. You drinking air. Anyways, stop prolonging it, girl. I know I keep saying this, but it's to remind y'all and myself that I said at the beginning of this pregnancy or of my pregnancy with Eli that I just wanted to take y'all through some real raw moments because. And some of this stuff, some people may see it and be like, girl, why are you telling us this? Like, why are you putting this on the internet? But I'm putting it on the internet because there's somebody that needs to see it because they see or they're experiencing whatever they're going through. And they think they're alone because you log on to Instagram and see these picture perfect scenarios and families that you think got it all together and don't have one rainy day. And or you see everybody living a soft life and nothing about their situation or their everyday or about their emotions or about their thoughts is soft like life is hard it is ghetto and while i'm gonna get fly and be that girl every time when i step out and it's time to do that there are also moments where again it's ghetto as hell and we're gonna talk about those two we're gonna go through those two so that people can see that the same way you go through ugly crime get back up and try again I do too and so does the next woman but not everybody talks about it so if I could be that one that has you feeling like oh I'm not alone then I'll be that one I say all that to say I'm on the way to the wick office right now 
can't wait. After I had Alani, everybody kept telling me like, get some weight, get some weight, you could get all these benefits, do, 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 do. I was prolonging it, never did it. With Eli, different story. I'm like, I'm not rushing back to work. I'm not back at work. Let me get all the assistance and hope I can get. So we're on the way to get these benefits because y'all know eggs is $10 a carton. So if I could get them for a free 99 a carton, I'm gonna do that. I'm on the way to get my package. I'm saying all that to say I'm on the way to get my package. I can't wait. Paying for groceries is not a flex. Paying for that you get for free, again, not a flex. I can't wait till I could do it and I think twice about it. And that's also why I be sharing this stuff because I know, I know, I know with all my heart, I feel with all my body and my soul that me and Nate are supposed to be living, our children are supposed to be living a different type of life. And we're not living it in full right now, but I know that it's on the way because of the stones and the seeds that we are planting right now. And I wanna be able to go back, like I said in the birthday vlog, um, I wanna go back and look on these moments, the humble beginnings where we kept saying it's gonna get better or those days where we thought it would never get better for our situation and then it does and it happens and you live in bigger you live in comfortable you're able to do what you want to do when you want to do it how you want to do it on somebody else's tab or on yours because there's unlimited resources resources are not limited they're not tight and again i don't say that to say i'm not grateful for everything we have because we live a great life but i know that there's more for us and i know we're on our way to it but in the meantime we're going to get it how we live if you are in a situation where your circumstances may look a certain way to other people, but you know what it feels like to you and you know that there's more for you, you're not the only one. If there's a time where you have to step back, fall back, grind harder, figure some stuff out, get some assistance, you are not alone in that. Yeah. Let's drive and go pick up this package. All right. I'll check in in a second. When I say this is my song and Hillary Banks did her thing on this, <laughs> now your hands on my body yeah hillary <laughs> i know i'm gonna be mad as when i go back to edit this and i see how close i am to the camera but it's a few things that i feel really led to say to y'all and i need to say it before i go into this office so first of all you know you've arrived in the hood when you get off the exit and your first turn is rosa parks road why do they do that to all right, that's going to be a different type of conversation about gentrification and about how they only put the the black historical greats in the places where... All right, we ain't going to talk about all that today. The real reason why I hit record again is because I was driving and I was thinking, and it's all circles back. Everything always circles back. Everything always comes together. The same way that I was saying that people who are going through the same things that we all are experiencing but aren't talking about, the same way that's needed on a large scale in the world, period, the microcosm of that or the micro version of that is in families. Like you always have the black sheep of the family or you always have people who are struggling more visibly than others in the family who feel like they're not connected to their other family members. When really and truly, if you go around your family and, and being able to break things down on a different type of level now that I'm an adult and now that I've gone through life and now that I've had experiences under my belt that have shown me how real things can get, it's all shown me that even on a family level, the things that you struggle with, you're not the only person struggling with it. You feel like you are because nobody talks about it. Nobody wears it. Nobody counsels you on it. Essentially, they don't talk about it. But at the same time, when they go home, they're fighting the same shit as you. They're having the same thoughts. They're having the same struggles. They're fighting the same demons as you because let's be real. Generational curses don't just pick one person. Generational curses pick bloodlines. So best believe the same way that you struggling with so-and-so, Aunt Jackie over there is struggling too, but she just putting on lipstick and a cute face and not talking about what's behind the cute face and what she doing when she take that makeup off at the end of the night. So I know that I was given this platform for a reason and that's to show duality, to show that you can live your life and you can be a great mom, to show that you can have spiritual encounters and still turn around and struggle and wonder, if what you just experienced was even real. But then you get to a point where <laughs> you know what you know, what you know, what you know for yourself. That is no way that it can't be real because only God. I'm not going to start preaching, but I say all of that to say another reason why I'm not rushing back behind the chair is because I know that I was given this platform to be that. No step in my path was laid by mistake. I had to go to counseling school because I had to learn how to talk to people and empower them and to be able to listen and to be able to draw out things and people that they don't even realize are there 
I know that I had to go the cosmetology route because there was somebody that was going to be watching a hair video that felt led to the real message and the real reason why they started watching and didn't even realize that was the reason. I was led to hair because there were clients that I needed to encounter on a personal level so that I could get what I needed on my path and they could get what they needed on theirs. But now I'm just in a place where I know that what I'm supposed to be doing and what I've been doing, what I've always wanted to do, are those things that are still going to be done in this new level of life, but it's meant to be on a bigger scale and I cannot do that. If my time is being spent on a one on one level in exchange for services where I'm breaking my back, not because I don't love it, but because I'm being called to more. If you feel like I'm talking in riddles, what I'm saying is that I feel like I need to stay the course of creating, stay the course of sharing my journey, because that's where I'm being called to right now and from here on out. But it's just hard while you're in the middle of trying to get to that point and real life is staring you in the face and you could go back to what you know and it just be safe and stable. But I don't just want to be safe and stable. I want to have abundance and I want to say that I took a leap of faith and I want to be able to look back at this time and be like, I could have easily went back to what I've always known and live good and be happy, but I went for even greater and now... I'm not just happy. I have joy that will never, ever, ever expire because I'm waking up every day and doing what I love. And I know that it's possible and I followed it. And I'm not looking back wondering if it's possible or if it will ever happen because God show me if you trust me, then I'm going to make it happen. And I'm going to give you the voice and the platform to be able to show other people what they could do too if they would tap into their powers, their callings, and do what they know they were called to do. So yeah, that was a lot. But I'm about to go into this office get my benefits and we going we going to be doing what we do because there's about to be a time in a day where I show my pay stubs and my tax returns and they're going to say baby you can't get these here services because you make too much and then that will also be the time where I'm pulling up to places like this and blessing moms and telling them how I get where they are because I walk through these doors too it's, watch the story unfold <laughs> Thank you, big God. Thank you even now. Look at my package and I'll be back. That's it. I got the wig, wig, wig. I got the wig, wig, wig. <laughs> I could see my mother now watching this like, that girl went on the internet telling people she got wig. What is wrong with her? I sure did because my virtual friend needs to know that she too needs to go get all the help that she could get because life is ghetto. And why would you not? The thing is, people love historically talking down on public assistance, on government assistance. But if we being really real, what is financial aid? Government assistance. What is a mortgage? Government assistance. And you own a house and everybody look at homeowners like, oh, they're this which kudos to you, sis, because you pay a mortgage. But at the end of the day, you're still paying to a bank or whoever you pay your mortgage to for that house that you own. Everybody's getting government assistance. They're just getting it in different ways and on different levels. What is a business loan? You got a business assist. I'm proud of you. I love that for you. I hope it makes it to Fortune 500. But when you're paying that business loan back, what are you getting, baby? Government assistance. Yeah, so I'm excited. I ain't gonna show y'all my numbers, my teeth, but future me is like, yes, yeah, sis, you did what you needed to do, so now we could do what we want. <laughs> And I love that for us. I'm going to stay here for a little while. Well, I ain't going to sit on Rosa Parks Road or nothing because I ain't got the blicky on me. <laughs> but I'm going to go sit somewhere in journal um, because I want to look back on this time in more ways than one. And if a hacker ever come for YouTube again for the threat life the way they came for Brianna Tahari the channel, it's going to be some problems. But I won't have these videos. So pen and paper is always the best. I'm going to stop talking your heads off even though I know this has been good because I know somebody needed to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. I don't care. Somebody needs to hear this. They need to hear that Aunt Jackie is not the judgmental auntie because she has no flaws. Aunt Jackie is the judgmental auntie because she don't want you talking too loud about what y'all both struggling with yeah that's that's the real reason why the threat life is here <laughs> i don't know if y'all know it or not but janae be preaching on her albums what she say my bossy i'm the boss <laughs> you know i said it all <laughs> I'm 
so I called to check on Eli and he was sleeping, which I love for both of us. I wish I was sleeping. I got some extra time, so I'm gonna get a polish change on my toes because, and I will show y'all, but it's so trifling that I'm actually embarrassed. I know I said I'm, sh I'm showing y'all the trenches, but <laughs> at some point there has to be bounds. That's OD. Like, it's bad. So yeah, I'm about to get this fresh white on my toes to match the fresh almond Frenchies. I got my nails back. I got them super short. I got some mom nails. And I got an almond shape looking like it's giving grandmother but that grow. <laughs> yeah, it's time to just start getting my life back in order piece by piece. I got a few things that I want to do concerning getting my life back in order, i.e. getting <laughs> my tags done on my car that expired a long time ago. I need to renew my cosmetology license even if I never step foot behind a chair again. I... I think I just want to keep it current. I want to get a care kit for my car that I keep in here so I'm not walking around ashy all the time. Like, keep your essentials in the car. Even if you had to come to the car half undressed, like y'all saw in the last vlog, like you have a kit in the car full of stuff. So I need to do that eventually. So yeah, let's go get these toes done. This is a chatty vlog, but I feel like the chatty ones give some people what they need. It's okay. It's all right. Stay with me. I promise we going somewhere. <laughs> goals this morning don't mind the sloppiness and for some reason like the writing is bubbling on my um, board but anyway it's been a productive day thus far so let's keep going what's up y'all today is monday march 27th we just finished doing a restock of the groceries so about to take out one half a little bit we're cooking tonight we exercised today alani got to school on time things are moving along today okay we love to see it. And it's all because why? Well, all because why? What happened last night? So Alani has been transitioning to her big girl bed, which I'm sure she'll be glad to show y'all in a little bit. And last night, Nate kept saying, well, Alani kept saying, Mommy, I want you to sleep with me. I want you to sleep with me. So Nate was like, go in there and sleep with her. But I was like, I do not want to sleep in a toddler bed tonight. But when I say that was the first pretty much full, of course, I woke up out of habit, but pretty much full night's sleep I've had in a long time like at the end of pregnancy i couldn't sleep all night of course now we don't sleep all night and oh my gosh <laughs> nate was on eli duty i was in the room with alani and when i say i was knocked out i was able to sleep on my boobs and my stomach <laughs> so when i woke up i was ready to do it okay here's dad and eli eli say what up to the set Say what up, my boy. I did miss my baby last night, but it was it was much needed. You wanna say what's up to the folks? Good. Hi, son. Hi, son. How you doing today? How you feeling? You feeling good? Yeah, you're smiling. Hi. <laughs> what's up? You trying to wave? <laughs> huh? Say what it do, folks. <laughs> what it do so if y'all know y'all know i be trying to tell myself to do everything so we timed ourselves in the grocery stores and now i set a 30 minute timer to clean out the fridge and put the groceries away but i stopped to go get the camera because i'm like why are you not vlogging what are you doing with your life so i'm kind of thrown off but we're gonna keep going also by the way i know we was talking wig talk the other day today was my first time grocery shopping with wig and i'm thinking okay that's gonna knock off a good 50 dollars every time i go in the store I was wrong. The first store I went in, the total was three sixteen at first. Wick only knocked it down to like three oh six. Womp womp. Then I went to Publix. The total was originally like seventy something, and Wick only knocked it down nineteen dollars. <laughs> we living in the Matrix, Nate. Clearly. <laughs> Let's get into it.
now, right now. I don't care how rich we get, how wealthy we get. We gonna eat some ramen. I just realized I told y'all I was cooking dinner and then did not come back for none of the process, but nothing too crazy. One of my favorite quick easy meals to make. This took 20 minutes. Literally 20 minutes. Eating good at the crib. Hi guys. There you go. Today we're eating dinner and the, after this, you know, these, these green beans have the little seeds in them and they're so good. We're about to eat my dinner with talk to you too. <laughs> Biggie, what you doing, mommy? Just look. Let's go see what else. Okay. We got Eli here and Dad here. Yeah. You can take a picture with us. What's up? Well, this is a video. It's not a picture. Go ahead, be careful. Let's go. Make some friends every single time, right? Those who butterfly. How you feeling? You know, sound like you know, we was at Kim North and um, last vlog? Vlog was for last. And we decided we wanted to bring the kids out this time. It's really windy, which keeps making Eli go. <laughs> <laughs> but they're enjoying it. Quiet, fell asleep, woke up, been chilling ever since. So, it's a good day. Meanwhile, Bug out here, she learning to conquer her fears and whatnot. So, she over there, she jumping off and stuff, all types of stuff. But we outside. Somebody's two months today. He did so good for the pictures. Yeah, I'm about to put him in right here. <laughs> good job, handsome boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. 